Welcome to another conversion tutorial. In this one, I'm going to take a Dark Angels veteran body, which you see here. Uh, it's, it's a cloaked body with running legs, and I'm going to add a bunch of bits from my bits box to make it into a cipher um, stand-in. So, some of the key things that, for the cipher model are going to be uh, bolt pistol and bolt storm. Uh, sorry, bolt pistol and plasma pistol pointing forward in a shooting position, kind of at the same target. Um, we need some sort of a sword that goes on his back, and so I'm going to use this one here from the Chaos Warriors sprue from Fantasy. And uh, that's going to be the sword on the back. Um, also, I'm going to need a backpack, so I'm using a Dark Angels uh, Veterans backpack, and I'm going to add some wings to it. Um, take the wings off of this uh, Dark Angels symbol. Um, and I'm going to use some shoulder pads from the Dark Angels uh, sprues as well. So this one here from the Raven Wing. And I'm going to use one of the just the regular Dark Angels ones. Now, if you wanted to do this, uh, take this to the next level, you could carve off that sword and green stuff on one that's upside down, just like the Cypher model. And uh, so I'm going to use a head from a Dark Angels veteran sprue, so just a cloaked head, kind of a screaming, you know, charging sort of a thing. Um, and then for the guns, to get them to pointing at the same direction, I'm going to take the Stormbolter vehicle, uh, Chaos vehicle sprue. And I'm going to convert that. So basically, I'm going to cut out the center bit there, and uh, then I'm going to mount that on this here. And there's going to be my two guns pointing at the same target. And um, just so finally, I'm going to, need to take a bolt pistol, carve it off of here. This is uh, this happens to be a Blood Angels one from my Blood Angels army, but any bolt pistol will do. And then a plasma pistol, and this one here is from the Devastators sprue. So, I'm sure some enterprising bits supplier from uh, on eBay uh, will put together a package like this. So, you may end up with slightly different bits, but the general idea is a cloaked running body and uh, two pistol hands pointing at the same target. So, uh, without further ado, let's try to clip things together and make that happen. So, um, I think the first bit here will be the arms. So, I'm going to try to, first of all, take out the piece of sprue in between them there and then I'm going to uh, take this bit out of the middle so using my clippers to try to clip as close as possible and um, do the same over here so that's that's pretty good there's a little bit of uh, something or other in the middle there but um, I think I can cover that up enough and it won't be noticeable the nice thing about these is they're actually chaos arms so they have a bit more detail on them. I was going to use just regular Space Marine ones, but it's kind of nicer that these aren't. So now let's see if I can carve this bolt pistol out here uh, while doing it on camera. So I'm just going to try to get the knife in there and work it. Mm, sorry. Okay, I think that's pretty close. And so the idea I'm trying to cut is uh, smoothly along there as I can and that came out relatively good let's try to clean that up a bit and um, I've already cleaned up the sprue line on that one and let's do the same with this plasma pistol but I actually might use clippers it might be tricky and cut away from it a little bit and then I'll just uh, trim it down with a knife Okay, and that's the benefit of uh, working with plastic is that uh, everything cuts so much easier and uh, you don't have to worry about trying to convert with metal because that's always uh, very tricky. So I'm just going to try to get some of the sprue line off there and maybe I'll drill out those barrels before I glue it all together. Um, so the idea here is here's the, the hand and it's got to get that to fit on there. So I think I need to cut the thumb off. So some of the detail won't be 100% accurate if you look at it really closely, i.e. I just cut his thumb off. But uh, that's the idea there. But that will go on that. I'll just clean up the, the mold line on there. And then uh, I'll glue that pistol on and we'll be ready to place that on the torso. Okay, so I've got all my bits ready. I'm going to uh, glue on my arms now, so just uh, to get those lined up. Now, um, your preference may not be for this exact pose, 
and these arms don't really give you much flexibility in how that's going to look. It might actually look a little goofy, um, but it is simple. So simple is good, goofy not so much, but uh, there you have it. So I think this will look okay. I'm going to maybe skew them just a touch so they're not exactly level. So there's, uh, there's going to be my arms, and let's glue on the uh, weapons. So the plasma pistol goes on the left hand, and the bolt pistol will go on the right. Where did my bolt pistol go? Here it is. I'm make sure that those are pointed forward. extra glue in there. So I'll just make sure those are pointed right. Now I did the, the backpack. So what I did here is I, I flattened out the sides a little and then I glued those two wings on. I know with the, uh, the actual Cypher model these uh, ventilators or whatever they are um, those are actually cut off and the wings go right on the backpack, but I thought this would look a bit better this way. So I'll glue that on as well. And uh, there we go. So that's what that looks like. So it'll give a little bit more substance to the model, uh, make up for the fact that there's no skeleton on the back there. And um, okay, let's put the, the head in as well. Now I haven't found uh, a second um, holster to go on the other sides. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do there. I might check my bits box again to see, or I might just uh, forego that detail. So I do have a holster here, um, and I have to cut off that that hilt of the the gun there. But I might uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to skip that. Maybe I'll put something hanging from his belt on the other side. Um, yeah, so there's almost there, so I just got to put these shoulder pads and then uh, mount this sword. So the sword, I might, uh, actually, you know what, I think that goes nicely, right, just like that. So I'll get some glue in there. And uh, like I mentioned, if uh, if you want more detail or less detail, obviously you can do that. But I think I've what I've done here is I've covered all the main points of this model. Uh, to make sure that it's you know semi-authentic, and uh, that on the tabletop you know it's it's going to be a fair representation of uh, of the cipher model. So not that um, oops, not that it's too what to worry about WYSIWYG with just a bolter and a bolt pistol. I'm oh, sorry, a bolt pistol and a plasma pistol. But um, you know you want to be you want to have a cool model as well. So actually that's not going to work that way because of how I've mounted, because of that shoulder pad with that extra kind of wing on it. So I'm going to flip the sword around and get this one shoulder pad on here. And then what I'm going to do is I will mount this on a base and I'll get some better pictures of it just so you can see. And of course there'll be a full description of the list of bits and any other details um, on my blog. So make sure you check the notes below if you want to see these images up close uh, in higher resolution um, than a video is going to show. But there you go, a pretty fast and easy cipher uh, sit-in. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, be sure to like and share it and subscribe for more things. And of course if you have any suggestions for future ones or any requests, feel free to leave a comment and I will check that out.